Hello and welcome to the second part in the introductory course for Animation Paper, a simple and powerful tool for creating hand-drawn animation on PC and Mac. In this video we're going to be discussing the drawing and modifying of artwork, going further in depth to the drawing and erasing tools, how to use the pickup tools, as well as the features of speed dials, the light table, and more about navigating within the canvas view. Up in the top bar you'll find three different drawing tools, the pencil tool, the marker tool, and the brush tool. I'm going to select the pencil and start roughing out a character. You can also select your drawing tool by pressing D on your keyboard. Similarly, you can access the eraser by pressing the E key. This is a character model of a chicken that I've been using for some demo animation. The pencil really excels at roughing in shapes and getting the groundwork set up for your animation. For brevity, I'm just going to speed up this drawing process just a little bit. So if I go to the top bar here and select this tool, I can adjust the size of my brush to suit whatever I'm trying to do. I can also adjust the opacity if I want it to be more opaque or less opaque. And these are all minimum and maximum settings. So you can have a combination of different styles. Like I want to have this brush be a little bit more opaque. And maybe I can adjust it to be just a little bit smaller on a minimum size so I can get that fine detail. And I'll just go bigger on the maximum size just for fun. So as you can see, the brush is now a little bit more robust, a little bit more uh, taking advantage of the pressure sensitivity of the pen. So let's switch to the marker. And I'm going to set my marker size to a little bit larger and the opacity down. Maybe a little bit more in the middle here. And I can, can do a little bit of shading. This is good for defining maybe where shadows are. Some may consider the marker a great choice for their own rough animation. Now I'm going to select this brush tool and give it a fairly fine tip. And the opacity is going to be all the way up, which is going to create a nice, smooth finish line that I could use for cleanup duties. Each of these tools, there's no right way, no wrong way. It all depends on what you like and your personal preference. Give each a try and see which one suits your needs the best. Moving on to the erasers, first I'm going to select my kneaded eraser. Now here, this is a tool that you can use to sort of knock down and correct things that you're not particularly happy with, but you don't want to erase the entire drawing. It'll just lighten things up a little bit like a kneaded eraser would in real life. Next I'm going to select the rubber eraser, and the rubber eraser it's a little bit more permanent, but it leaves a softer edge around where you're erasing. Next, I'll select the vinyl eraser, which erases with a harder edge than the other two erasers. Each of these erasers also has customizable settings, so you can adjust your erasers to however you need them to be. And if you ever want to reset any of these settings, you can just go to Draw, Erasing Tools, Reset User Settings, or Drawing Tools, Reset user settings, which will restore the default settings of all the tools. For workflow speed, you can also access these settings on the fly. For the draw settings, hold down the D key, and for the eraser settings, hold down the E key. Now I'm going to undo the erasing that I've done by just pushing Ctrl Z and restoring the drawing. Animation Paper has a few options for modifying existing drawings. I'm going to go to the Pickup menu here. We have the Lasso, the Cutter, or All, or the whole drawing. If I select Lasso, I can select a portion or all of my drawing. In this case, I'm going to select a portion, and I'm going to just move it. And You see the existing drawing remains, but I can just copy and scale and rotate however I please. This is for primarily scaling, and here's just rotate. Here's both. You can do either with that. I'm just going to scale that right there and press enter to stamp down the selection. 
Going back up to the pickup menu, now I'm going to select the cutter. The cutter works differently from the lasso, whereas I can select part of this drawing and it's going to remove it from what is existing there. So say I just want him to rotate a little bit this way and then put him down here, possibly scale him up just a tad. Very helpful. And press enter to stamp down the selection. Back up in the pickup sheet, I can select all, and then the entire drawing will be able to be moved, rotated, or scaled however it needs to be. Animation Paper will update the drawing at full resolution. And then I'm going to make a new drawing by going to the Edit menu, Add Blank Drawing. Keyboard shortcut, controller command, and down arrow key, which is going to give me a frame two here in my X sheet. I can flip back and forth between my drawings using the left and right arrow keys. The backlight or light table can be adjusted to fit your needs as well. If you go to light table, customize backlight, you can select how much transparency each frame on either side of the current one you're drawing on is going to have. You can also hue shift it or not. Stop at the ends, wrap at the ends, which means you'll be able to see the last frame and the first frame once you get to the end, and show outside range. I'm just going to put stop at ends. Now that second drawing has a much darker intensity than it did before. If you want to reset those settings, just go back to Customize Backlight and Reset A. Sometimes when you're animating, you get really far in. I'm going to use this zoom tool just to zoom in on this character. Keyboard shortcut holding Z. And the hand tool, keyboard shortcut holding space or H. And the rotation tool, keyboard shortcut holding R. While I'm in this close, I'm going to do a little drawing. Help define a few of these lines a little bit better. And now I just want an easy way to reset and get back to the full view of my character. So I'm going to go up here to Light Table and use Reset View. Keyboard shortcut for that is zero. And now it resets the view. I can see my entire canvas. Or under Light Table, I can also go to Fit View, Shortcut Controller Command Zero, which is going to fit it within its available area. The final feature we're going to discuss in this video is called Speed Dials. If we come up here to the Window menu in the top bar, you can see First Speed Dial and Second Speed Dial. However, these are best used at the cursor point. So if I hold down keyboard shortcut S, you'll see a radio wheel pops up with various commonly used tools. I'm going to choose light table and turn my light table off. Now if I press shift S, you'll see a second radio wheel pops up. In this case, I'm going to choose clear drawing, which I didn't really want to do this. I'm going to push undo. Speed dials can speed up your workflow very easily by just placing those commonly used items at your fingertips. Thank you for watching this second installment of the Animation Paper Introductory Course. This course was designed to help you get up and running and animating as soon as possible. In the next video, we're going to be talking about animation and working with the X-Sheet. See you in the next video.